that is me, Wave Richard, and that is my money tree. Wave money tree, or should I say, Pakira Aquatica to call you by your fancy scientific name. So I actually have two money trees which I bought at the same time. One of them, I've been feeding a diet of milk and biscuits, and the other, just good old regular H2O. Not really, no biscuits are involved, just milk, the biscuits are for me. Anyway, I bought them both three months ago, and one of them has been putting the other to shame by growing big and strong. So, which one is this? The one with milk pumping through its veins, or the other with just water in its arteries? Watch till the end and you'll find out, it's pretty interesting I promise. See what I did there? You're probably wondering straight away why anyone with half a brain would give their plant milk, and you're right, anyone with half a brain wouldn't. Enter me. Wait, hang on, that didn't come out right. Basically, I've stepped up to the plate in the name of science, my friends, and attempted to put to bed once and for all the age-old question of whether giving plants milk is the best thing for them. That's what we're all asking, right? What do you mean we're not? Five-minute crafts are always at it anyway, putting weird stuff in their plants like milk, soy, wine, vinegar, petroleum, so it must be good, right? And by the way, if you're curious to see if soy would kill a plant, you're in luck. That gem is coming soon. What's the supposed benefits of milk then? Well, it's got calcium, so it's great for bone and teeth health. It's packed full of nutrients, so it's excellent for developing strong muscles. Richard, stop. And it's also shown Richard, to reduce cardiac... Richard, stop. What? I meant for plants. For plants? Okay, hang on. Let me check with ChatGPT. Four hours later. So yeah, apparently it's rich in nutrients, like I said, such as uh, calcium, uh, phosphorus, potassium, and a bunch of vitamins apparently, so it should kind of act as a kind of fertilizer, I guess, sort of. Maybe. It's not packed with nutrients, so it might be a little bit limited. Also, it contains some beneficial bacteria called lacto, lacto, lactobacillus or something, which is meant to fight disease and improve soil structure. So milk's got a lot going for it, and I'm sure it's going to massively boost the growth of one of my money trees. What could possibly go wrong? The point is, there's tons of YouTube videos out there doing this, so I wanted to check if this was all a load of baloney or not. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the comments. Will the milky tree grow better? Milky tree? Is that a chocolate bar? No cheating by going back to the future and checking the result. You're not Marty McFly. You're the dark dog. Just put better, worse or death in the comments if you think either of those things are going to happen. What does my friend Lee at Kill This Plant think? I think if you feed your plants milk, you'll probably kill this plant. Unless you have a skeleton key or an esqueleto which are already made of bones, so... Why did I pick the money tree then? There must be a scientific reason why I chose this plant ahead of all the others, right? If you think that, then you clearly got me all wrong. Honestly, there's no real reason, apart from the fact I didn't want to ruin a perfectly good plant I already owned, so I needed to buy a fresh one from the store. Plus, I assume they grow pretty quick, so an answer should be fairly obvious without having to drag this experiment out over two years or something ridiculous. I've not got the patience for that, you see. Plus, I've never owned a money tree, so I thought I'd be able to buy two, or at least have one by the end of it if it all went pear-shaped. Not that it necessarily did, mind you. I bet you're wondering to yourself how I made this experiment fair so the results are undeniable and cannot be argued with. If that's the case, then you're mistaking me for Brian Cox. Not that Brian Cox, that Brian Cox. Or Neil deGrasse Tyson, because believe me, I ain't no scientist. Basically, I picked up two money trees they had available in the store, and it just so happens they were more or less the same size. They even came with their own baskets, which was a nice touch. Now listen to me explaining this setup perfectly. So I've got two gorgeous money trees here. Both are a similar size. Got Both got five trunks that have been braided and they've both got nice deep green foliage, nice and healthy. New growth coming out of the top of both plants, probably about the same amount. This one, as you can see, is probably just a smidge higher than that one, a smidge taller. It looks like one is quite a bit bigger than the other one, Historical Richard. How can you not see that? So what we're going to do is we're going to give this one, the slightly smaller one, the milk solution and see if the added nutrients and minerals in the milk can help that catch up in growth to this one. Can you hear the optimism in my voice? Bless. It's almost like I think it's all a good idea. Set up over, I went about the business of giving it its first dose on day one. The recipe is pretty simple, no Gordon Ramsay consultation needed. 
One part milk and one part water, even I could manage that. You see, I thought I'd at least be a little bit fair to the plant and water the solution down a bit so it didn't get too fat too quickly with full fat milk. That's what most tutorials are tending to do anyway. So there I go, filling up the jug halfway with milk and then topping up with water. Mmm, lovely milky foam, just like a cappuccino. And there she goes, the first milking. I guess I'm one of the very few people who can say they've milked a plant. Maybe I'll get a plaque for that. I popped them both on my plant bench in front of my east facing window in my dining room so there can be no variables messing with the results. They'll get the same light, humidity and love from my three year old right at this very spot. <clears throat> it's all totally scientific as you can see. It didn't take long for me to start panicking about bugs though, which is why this weird paper cover comes in not long after the start of the experiment. I keep saying experiment, who am I trying to kid? I thought all this protein rich milk forming a smelly crust on top of the soil was bound to attract some flying friends. So a cover like this is the perfect foil. So this is me about two weeks later giving the plant its second dose. Turns out the milky solution took a long time to dry out for some reason. Not sure why, maybe it was the cover, maybe it was the protein, who knows. Anyway, it wasn't ready for a drink until two weeks later. And just for completeness, you can see me watering the other plant like a pro. You know, I didn't want you thinking I was cheating or anything. Who knows why I would. You can just about see that not much has changed in two weeks. Both plants are looking as healthy as each other. Now, week four is where things get really interesting. Well... I think so anyway. Are you still there? Have a listen if you are. So it's been about four weeks and there has been a little bit of movement to be honest. So this one here, this money tree is the one that hasn't had the milk solution. It looks fairly normal. This one is the one that's getting the milk solution. And as you can see from the top, there has been lots of new leaves sprouting. So one, two, three, six, I think six new leaves sprouted out of the top and when you compare that to the other one not nearly as much new growth coming out of the top so a good start for the milked specimen but would it continue that way i can feel your sense of anticipation on the other side of the camera the third milking why does it sound like i'm milking a cow anyway it took place a couple of weeks later and look i'm wearing shorts must be our two weeks of hot weather we get every year in sheffield i remember that I'm poking around the soil here, not because I have a fetish for soil or anything, but because, well, it's beginning to get a bit funky. It kept developing a hard crust on top, like one of those crusty sourdough loaves that cost $10.99 from the local artisan bakery. Seriously, why are they so expensive? Anyway, I did get a little spooked at this point because my wife swears she saw ants on the trunk. I couldn't see any, but it kept me Ozzy Osbourne, I must admit. Paranoid? Anyone? Paranoid? No? Look, we have another update from Historical Richard. Is this six weeks in now? I don't know, I'm losing track at this point. Looks to me like they are neck and neck in growth. So this one did have some new growth first at the top. And that one was lagging behind a little bit, but new growth soon came up at the top of that one. It pushed out nice new growth at the top, nice healthy leaves. So they're both looking kind of as big as each other really. No advantage of giving the milk to this one so far. This is the milky one. Oh, how the tables have turned. I didn't see that coming, to be honest, did you? The milky one looked way ahead, but seemed to have stopped growing at some point. Is that a cheeky hint? Wait and see, not long now. Wait, what? There's no more intermittent updates. What happened? So here we are then, the bit you've all been waiting for. Unless you skipped to the end. If you did, then shame on you. You missed all my funny jokes. So can you guess which one is which? Yeah, of course you can, you're no fool. The one on the right is Milky Joe. I'm going to call it Milky Joe now, so I don't have to keep saying the one on the right. What do you think? Milky Joe looks a bit poorly, doesn't he? He got those new leaves about two weeks in, and he seems to have stopped growing since. He looks dehydrated, which is interesting because the soil is still moist, according to my unflappable moisture meter. The leaves are kind of clumping together like they're trying to conserve water. His friend, on the other hand, looks exactly as you'd expect. New leaves are continuing to form at the top and everything is nice and uh, <coughs> erect. 
I must say, Milky Joe smells like he's been away fishing for three months without a shower. The soil doesn't smell pleasant at all. Let's just say that Mrs Sheffield would be pleased when I change the soil after this video. Not that she's complaining much at all. Now that I mentioned soil, I might as well have a nosy and see if anything sinister is going on. I just hope there isn't anything in there that's going to bite, that's all I'm saying. Thankfully, it doesn't look like there's anything too sinister in there apart from that god awful smell. Imagine milk that's been left out for two years. My nostrils will never be the same again. Oh, cancel that. All the roots are coming off. Jeez, there's no roots left. I guess all the milk made the roots rot. Well, let's try putting in some fresh soil and uh, praying for a miracle. If it doesn't come back, I'll just give it to me in laws. If you're watching, that's a joke. So, the million dollar question. Am I going to continue giving my plants milk? In a word, no. As you can see, it's been pretty much a disaster for the roots. I thought the foliage was looking okay, but I guess you can never tell what's going on behind closed doors. There's absolutely no benefit I can see from doing this anyway. Now, where's that bottle of soy? If you somehow enjoyed this video, then why not check out this one next?